understand how dark it is? How far down the line we are? How late it is? PrisonPlanet.tv and InfoWars.com. I am the Info Warrior. We got the blog up today, by the way. I'm going to be reading you. Uh, I, I posted a couple of stories. I, I might read one or two of them. You know, all of them. <laughs> we'll, we'll call it Bobby Bloggins with Jason Burmas because uh, I officially am now going to be blogging all the time. But this one's just heating me right up, right off the bat. We're, we're going to be just doing news and blitzing through your phone calls, so we're going to probably do a half an hour of news. And then we'll take your uh, phone calls in the second half of the hour. Phone line is 866-582-9933. It's 866-582-9933. But I'm sure this is going to be a huge story over at Prison Planet and InfoWars later tonight or early tomorrow. This is out of Reuters. Lawyers seek global forum to handle Madoff cases. A coalition of lawyers called for a new international forum on Monday to handle legal issues spurred by the purported $50 billion fraud of once respected Wall Street trader Bernard Madoff. $50 billion's nothing, folks. These guys are stealing trillions right now. It's like they're, they're having money fights while you're losing your home. Like, really. It's, it's that bad. It's, it's really like Mr. Burns and Smithers having a money fight right now. I mean, they're tossing in each other's face. <laughs> and they're talking about this. Fit. I was wondering, everybody's always asking, well, what's up with Bernie Madoff? And I've always said, you know, this is a low-level criminal guy. They had to throw somebody out to dry. He probably won't do that much time at all. No, there's a big plan for Bernie Madoff. He's bringing in the global banking system right now. Let me read you the second paragraph. Known as the Madoff case global alliance of law firms, the group is pushing for the creation of an international finance court. Do you see what I'm saying here? An international finance court. Here it is. Here it is. It's the global banking system Jones told you about 15 years ago. It's right in your face. Because, look, they have to handle the Madoff-related and other complex financial services litigation. See, this is going to be set up to make sure that all the little guys go down or under or become amalgamated into their system if they're not already deeper into their system while they consolidate power okay this is oh man this just makes me so ah, i'm very angry <laughs> just unbelievable and and this is this intertwines with all this other stuff we got hsbc dives 24 percent in uh in hk in hk by uh rights issue and that's hong kong by the way and uh that's yet another bank going down we just reported i believe it was on uh either jones's show or my show on friday that the UK uh, bought up 75% of Lloyd's. The bank, it's over, guys. We're all socialists now, and they're coming out and telling you. There it is. Hey, hey, PrisonPlanet.tv. Hey, how's that? How do you like that? Look, Fox News. This is their end of the propaganda, okay? Is the economic crisis Obama's 9-11? Ah. <sighs> You see what they do? They set up these crises right in the beginning of these guys' uh, terms in office. You're sympathetic to them. And we need a global system. We had Gordon Brown at the Capitol preaching a new global banking system. Our entire Congress sits up there. Yes. <laughs> Gordon. Oh, my God. Brilliant. Yes. <laughs> Calls for a global currency has been calling for a new world order since before he was the prime minister it's all over the place and now bernie madoff to bring in the new international banking order it's too complicated otherwise folks it's the info warrior with jason burmas prisonplanet.tv infowars.com And we are back. It is the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis. And uh, we're leading with this story because it's probably the biggest story out there right now. It's the most important. Lawyers see global forum to handle Madoff cases. So in other words, they need to set up a new global. It's all about globalism. I don't know why people can't get behind this. Like, it's so easy to figure out. They're consolidating the power. Globalism on its face, it sounds great. You know, 
It's like a gravy train with biscuit wheels on its face. We're all going to do better. We're all going to live better. We're all going to sing and dance in harmony. One world, one, one human race. It sounds great on its face. But what this really is about is setting up a forum with the Rockefellers on one end and the Rothschilds on the other, and they squeeze all the small banks, and they go on after all their competitors, and they just like squeeze them until they have it all. And then anybody who tries to oppose them, they're now the new global forum to discuss anything banking that's illegal. It's unbelievable to me. And so Bernie Madoff is going to be used in a puppet to bring in a world banking quote-unquote forum. It's going to be a new legal institution. That's what it's going to be. It makes me sick. It makes me ill. And this comes in at, at the same time that they're saying only a global fix will do for the for the environment. See, they want to cast a society, and that's going to uh, dovetail into uh, my little uh, blog spot, infowarrior.infowars.com. That's infowarrior.infowars.com. And uh, here it is. Only a global fix will do. We must now meet the recession head on and agree collective action at the all important G20. Okay, so. So remember, Obama's going to meet the Queen in private before the G20. Remember the Queen in private, you know, but the royal family, they don't have any power. You know, Obama's just going to meet the Queen, you know, maybe uh, maybe be her groom of the stool, as we would say in the office. Look that one up, I'm sure. I'm going to get a lot of comments on that. And uh, really just saying, what, Queensy, what do you want? What, what, what do we need to get done at this G20? And again, everyone is saying only a global solution will do. Only global solutions. That's it. And then there's this story. Climate change accelerates water hunt in the U.S. It's all this fear-mongering that there won't be enough water. It'll be too much. There'll be floods and everybody's going to die. And then we have Pelosi uh, backing higher U.S. ethanol to gasoline blend. Now, ethanol also not uh, good for your car. Most gasoline cut with at least 10% ethanol now. It'll probably be up to 20%. Again, not good for your car. Uh, perpetuates the lie of peak oil, the hoax of peak oil, to make you feel sympathetic towards the elites and the oil company. Oh, we're running out. we got to figure something. Corn's the answer. You're, Jason, you're bad. You're very bad. <laughs> you're against ethanol. How could you be? It's all about control. They have enough gasoline for everybody. Listen to Lindsey Williams. I mean, he's telling you the truth. They're really going to they're going to bankrupt the other nations because we do have so much uh, gasoline now that we've taken over. You know, Iraq, the second largest oil producing uh, country in the world. Weird. Hmm. It's weird we're doing this now after we built all the pipelines in Afghanistan. But that's a conspiracy theory. How dare I? How dare I? So global solution to the economy. Global solution to global warming or climate change or whatever they're calling it now. And now, through Bernie Madoff, we're going to have a global international banking forum. That's just awesome. In this cashless society control grid. Because that's what it's about. It's about charging you for carbon taxes. And for, for driving on the road. Let me, let, me, let, me, uh, let me read you my latest uh, blog. It's over at infowarrior.infowars.com. Entitled, Don't Stop Believing. Oh, oh. It's a little uh, journey reference for those that... Uh, aren't hip to uh, classic rock. It seems like every time I try to relate the idea of a cashless control grid used to track and trace our every move, some jackass chimes in to say that I should be wearing a tinfoil hat. Well, saddle up, partner, and fashion yourself one out of Reynolds wrap because these are commercials running in Orange County, California, promoting license plate scanning cameras to automatically scan and charge you for driving on automated toll roads. They use the guise of, bo of both saving the environment, of course, and your precious time. After all, nobody wants to be late for American Idol. Thanks, IBM. This is the best thing since you fashioned the Nazis with tabulators during the Holocaust. So why don't we just play that little delicious video over there where they're like, you know what's going to be cool? Man, I, I hate being on the road so long. I hate stopping at those toll roads. You know what's a great idea? Automated scanners. <laughs> They'll just charge me whatever. They'll know exactly where I am. They'll track and trace me. It's great. It's the best thing. It's what we need. It's a global solution. So let's see if we can get this going. But, you know, IBM, again, helped the, the uh, Nazis during the Holocaust. Those that don't know, they, they not only did business with them, they fashioned them with the uh, tabulating system. That would, they basically take the person's information and then 
depending on how long they could work, how healthy they were, whether they're a man or a woman, they would decide when, when or if they would be moved to the death camps or killed. All right, so let's, let's play it, guys. I hate traffic. I must spend about an hour or two a day in traffic. 20 minutes, at least an hour and a half. Americans waste 4.2 billion hours a year stuck in traffic. Nobody likes traffic. Every year, traffic congestion wastes 58 super tankers of fuel. What can you do about it? I heard Stockholm put in a smart toll system. Do that here and we can save a lot of gas. Two billion liters of petrol. And time. That's what I'm working oh. on. I'm an IBMer. Let's build. Let's build. Let's build a smarter planet. Oh, a smarter planet for automated toll roads to save the environment and your time. Um, propaganda at its highest levels. I mean, is anybody out there dumb enough to think it's a good idea to put automated toll road systems that scan your license plate every time you pass them? Does anybody out there think that? I mean, is that really you save your time and save the environment? Come on, man.